Hello everyone, welcome to a Small Turbo YouTube channel. So this time, we're going to talk about our fourth quarter assessment in Science 7. So credits po pala kay Ma'am Marichelle, my co-teacher, my co-teacher in Science here in Dalagueti National High School, who made these test questions. So let's start without much further ado. Number one, when measuring the lines of latitude, always begin with the blank which represents zero degrees. So just recall our discussions in week one, fourth quarter week one. So it's like, okay, so all you have to do is to recall this topic of ours. So if this is the globe, which is the representation of our planet Earth, when you are going to locate a certain place in the globe, you should start at the, yes, zero degrees, and that's the equator. For number two, what layer in the Earth's atmosphere where weather condition occurs? Okay, again, so let's recall our discussion in uh, week two. I don't know, not week, week two, but week three. All right, so you just have to recall this discussion about this layer of the Earth's atmosphere. So just take a look at the screen and that's uh, where you can locate your answer. All right, so let's proceed now to number three. What is the basis for the division of the layers of the atmosphere surrounding the Earth? So let's take a look at this. All right, so using the graph, anal analyzing the graph, so from the troposphere, it's like from 30, around 30 degrees Celsius, it uh, becomes negative 50 degrees Celsius. So what are those? degree celsius temperature is in degree celsius so your answer is in there now let's proceed to number four which of the following is a non-metal so just recall our discussion in quarter one so so just recall that metals are good conductors of electricity and they are shiny they are ductile, what's that, ductile, ductile, whichever is the correct way of pronouncing the word. And so basically among the choices, we have only the sulfur which is um, opposing to the metal properties. And for number five, what must be done with the specimen to increase the contrast of the structure? view of the contrast of the structured view so so for example an onion so you need to or any if it's for example you want to have a sample of a leaf to take a look at its cell structure under the microscope you need to slice it very thin no you just have to you just have to choose a very thin slice of it or you can do staining. Next, number six, which of the following describes a parasitism? So just imagine when you say parasitism, one benefits, the other is harm. So example of that is our lice in the head, lice and man. So the man is harm, while the lice in in the in its or in the head of the man benefited from the blood sucked uh, from the man's head okay so among those choices which um, resembles like that of the man and the lies just choose among those number seven when when can a displacement equal to distance so basically distance um, is the total length traveled by the object, whereas displacement is just the, the difference from the final position to its initial position. So just imagine when you do travel a straight line, when you do travel a straight line, okay? So you really will have a 
same or equal distance and displacement without going back to the original position. Next, when the particles of a medium are vibrating perpendicular to the direction of energy transport, then the wave is a blank wave. So I'm going to let you see this, um, a picture of these. All right, so here I'm going to show you that this is an example of a transverse wave. So the transverse wave are or the particles in the transverse wave are displaced perpendicular to the direction the wave travels. So this is the example. So the travel of the wave is like that. That's the direction, whereas its motion or the particles are, yes, um, going upward. So they have this perpendicular um yes perpendicular motion however for longitudinal wave the particles are displaced parallel to the direction the wave travels so the direction is going forward also the particles are um displaced uh forward so they're parallel so among the choices which is the correct answer Next is, what is the correct order of Earth's atmospheric layers from the bottom to top? So, just recall our... Alright, so... We have a mnemonic of this. So, basically, it's bottom to top here. And... For number 10, a solution is made by solving some salt in a beaker of water. The salt is referred to as the, okay, just recall the solute and the solvent. So, solute is the component that is present in smaller amount, okay, smaller amount. Whereas, solvent is the component that is present in greater amount, okay, greater amount, so... Here in our situation, the salt is dissolved in a beaker of water. So the salt is referred to us. Okay, so we, you have the answer already. Number 11, table salt, also known as sodium chloride, would be classified as... Okay, so recall our discussion in elements and compounds. So elements are the ones we can see in the periodic table of elements. Alright, so these are the elements. Combinations... Or combination of two or more elements is already a compound. So in our question, table salt, so basically sodium chloride sha. So it's a combination already of sodium and chlorine. So which among the choices is the correct answer. So I have mentioned it already. What point number 12 that tells us that something is moving? Okay, so basically we recall our discussion in reference points we're in. For example, you have the tree stationary and you see a dog. Uh, at first, it is like before the uh, tree and later on it's after the location of the tree. So basically, it's the tree is our reference point. Okay, and if, for example, we have, you, can you picture out the uh, tree, the dog is in between the tree and the house, and later and after some time, um, the tree is already, uh, no, not the tree, but the dog is already, or the, the house is already in between the tree and the, the, ha, uh, the dog. So basically, the dog moves. Okay, so that's reference point. Next, number 13. From its original position, the ball was pushed and rolled to its new location. That's point B. Which of the following statements about its distance and displacement in terms of its size is true? So, so basically from point A to point B. So this, the answer here is just the same. As the questions in number, question, question uh, what's this? Here, number seven. They are just related. Number 14, what is the most abundant element in the Earth's atmosphere? So basically, I'll just mention it's nitrogen. 
How are latitude? So nitrogen composes of how many? What percent? Alright, so let's continue. How are latitude and longitude lines drawn on a globe of Earth? So basically, latitude is horizontal and longitude is vertical. And they are perpendicular to each other. So basically, yung latitude, they are parallel, parallel to the equator. Whereas for the longitude, they meet at the poles. Number 16, what is true about intertropical convergence zone? So basically, it occurs in country near the equator. Yes. Next, what is the speed of the runner if he runs a 200 meter dash in 10 seconds? So just calculate 200 divided by 10. Next, number 18, skin or bone is an example of what level of organization? So just recall, so it's um, the cell is the lowest, then followed by the tissues, then the organ, then we have the organ system, then the organism. So basically, skin or bone belongs to the organs. Next, arrange the following household items, toothpaste, bath, soap, water, vinegar, from the most acidic to the most basic. So basically, yung acidic siya dapat mag-start. So basically, we're, we're, we're going to start to... Vinegar, tap water, then milk, toothpaste. Then number 20, if suffering from an upset stomach, you may use a remedy such as Gaviscon and Criminal S. There are examples of, so there are examples of bases, okay, bases. Kasi yung naka-upset ng stomach is very acidic yun. So acid plus base, it will neutralize. So it will stop the upset stomach. So thank you so much for, uh, viewing this video of ours so till next time bye bye